NASA's Perseverance and Curiosity rovers have continued to unveil the mysteries of Mars through their latest images and discoveries. The recently transmitted photographs showcase breathtaking Martian landscapes, intriguing geological formations, and possible clues about Mars's ancient past. These images offer more than just a stunning view of the red planet. They provide essential data for scientists studying the planet's history, its climate, and its potential for past microbial life. Every image captured by these rovers tells a part of Mars's story, revealing landscapes shaped by wind, erosion, and possibly ancient water flows. Perseverance, which landed in Jezero Crater in February 2021, is exploring an area believed to have once housed a vast lake and river delta billions of years ago. This crater was chosen as a landing site because scientists suspected it might contain preserved biosignatures, evidence of past life. Recent images sent back by Perseverance reveal stunning rock formations, intricate sedimentary layers, and signs of ancient water activity. The rover's MOSCAM Z, a high-resolution imaging system, captured detailed panoramas of the crater floor, showing eroded cliffs and scattered boulders that may have been transported by ancient river currents. These photographs have helped researchers analyze the mineral composition of the area, leading to the discovery of clay and carbonate deposits, which often form in water-rich environments. The presence of these minerals supports the idea that Jezero Crater was once home to a long-lasting body of water, increasing the chances that microbial life could have thrived there in the distant past. Curiosity, which has been exploring Gale Crater since 2012, has also contributed remarkable new images, offering a different perspective on Mars' diverse landscapes. The rover recently captured a 360-degree panoramic view from the slopes of Mount Sharp, the towering central peak within Gale Crater. This stunning mosaic, compiled from dozens of high-resolution images, showcases a vast and varied terrain, with rocky ridges, windswept dunes, and distant hills fading into the hazy Martian horizon. The colors in these images have been enhanced to bring out subtle differences in the rock compositions, allowing scientists to better understand the planet's geological history. Some of these photographs reveal distinct layering within rock formations, evidence of sediment being deposited over millions of years, possibly by ancient lakes or streams. One of the most significant recent discoveries made using these images involves the detection of sulfate-rich rocks in Gale Crater. These sulfates are particularly important because they indicate the presence of water in Mars's past, but also suggest that the environment may have become drier over time. Scientists believe that as Mars lost its atmosphere and water gradually evaporated, sulfate minerals were left behind marking a shift from a once habitable environment to the cold, arid world we see today. By analyzing these images and conducting detailed chemical tests, Curiosity has helped paint a picture of Mars's environmental evolution, showing how it transitioned from a warm, wet planet to the barren landscape it is today. Perseverance's recent images also include close-ups of its rock sampling sites, where it has been collecting and storing samples for a future return mission. These images reveal the precise locations where the rover has drilled into the Martian surface, exposing the inner layers of rock that have been untouched for billions of years. By studying these samples in detail, scientists hope to find preserved organic molecules or other signs of past life. One particularly exciting image showed a rock with unique textures and color variations, which could indicate past interactions with water. The rover's SuperCam, an advanced instrument that can analyze rock compositions from a distance, has detected carbon-bearing materials in some of these rocks, adding to the growing evidence that Jezero Crater was once habitable. Curiosity's latest images have also provided insights into the weathering processes on Mars, some of the photographs show rocks that appear to have been sculpted by wind erosion, with smooth surfaces and sharp ridges formed by centuries of exposure to Martian dust storms. The rover's cameras have also captured images of dust devils, miniature tornadoes of dust that swirl across the Martian surface, offering clues about atmospheric conditions. These images help scientists understand how wind and dust shape the Martian landscape over time, and how the planet's thin atmosphere interacts with its surface. Both rovers have also been capturing images of Mars' sky, including stunning views of the sun setting over the horizon. These images reveal a dusty, muted sky with colors that change from pale blue during the day to pinkish hues at sunset. 
The rover's cameras have even caught glimpses of Mars's tiny moons, Phobos and Deimos, as they pass across the sky, creating eerie, otherworldly scenes. These celestial observations help scientists study Mars' atmosphere and how light interacts with its thin, dust-filled air. One of the more visually striking images from Perseverance shows the remnants of an ancient river channel carved into the Martian surface. This winding feature, captured in high resolution, is strong evidence that liquid water once flowed across this region, shaping the landscape in much the same way rivers do on Earth. Scientists analyzing these images have noticed sediment deposits similar to those found in Earth's deltas, further reinforcing the idea that this area was once a thriving water system. The discovery of these river-like formations supports the theory that Mars once had a thicker atmosphere capable of sustaining liquid water for extended periods. Another fascinating discovery revealed through new images involves the presence of polygonal cracks in the Martian soil. These cracks resemble those found in dried lake beds on Earth, suggesting that water once pooled in these areas before eventually evaporating. The patterns in the soil hint at repeated cycles of wet and dry conditions, which could have provided a stable environment for microbial life to emerge. By studying these formations, scientists hope to better understand how Mars's climate changed over time and what factors contributed to the planet's loss of water. Perseverance has also been testing its autonomous navigation capabilities, and the images captured during these tests showcase the rover's ability to traverse challenging terrain. Some of these images depict rocky outcrops and steep inclines that the rover has skillfully maneuvered around, demonstrating the advancements in robotic exploration technology. These images are crucial for mission planners, allowing them to assess potential routes and identify safe paths for the rover's continued exploration. In addition to studying the surface, Perseverance has been using its microphones to record sounds from Mars, adding a new dimension to our understanding of the planet. Some of the images are accompanied by audio recordings of the Martian wind, the sound of the rover's wheels crunching over the ground, and even the subtle noises made by its scientific instruments. These recordings, combined with the visuals, provide an immersive experience that brings Mars closer to us than ever before. Curiosity's latest images have also included close-ups of peculiar rock formations that resemble fossilized structures. While scientists remain cautious about making any claims of biological significance, these images have sparked curiosity and led to further investigation. By analyzing the composition and formation of these rocks, researchers aim to determine whether they were shaped by purely geological processes or if they could hold clues to past life. As both rovers continue their missions, the images they send back will play a crucial role in shaping our understanding of Mars's past, present, and future. The breathtaking views captured by perseverance and curiosity not only provide stunning visuals, but also contain valuable scientific information that could one day help answer the fundamental question of whether life ever existed on Mars. These discoveries bring us closer to understanding our neighboring planet and lay the groundwork for future human exploration. The recent discoveries made by the Perseverance and Curiosity rovers on Mars are shaping the course of future missions in ways that will redefine how humanity explores the red planet. The images sent back, showing evidence of ancient water flows, layered rock formations, and potential biosignatures, have reinforced the idea that Mars was once a habitable world. These findings are not just confirming past hypotheses, but also raising new questions that scientists are eager to answer, influencing the design, goals, and destinations of upcoming Mars missions. One of the most immediate impacts of these discoveries is on the Mars Sample Return Mission, a collaborative effort between NASA and the European Space Agency. Perseverance has been meticulously collecting and storing rock and soil samples in sealed tubes, which will be retrieved and brought back to Earth in the next decade. The images showing the precise locations of these sample sites, along with the chemical compositions analyzed by the rover's instruments, are guiding scientists in selecting the most valuable samples for return. The discovery of carbon-bearing materials, coupled with signs of the past water activity, has made these samples even more critical. When analyzed in Earth-based laboratories, they could provide definitive proof of whether Mars once hosted microbial life. The Mars Sample Return Mission is being designed with these findings in mind, ensuring that it prioritizes the most scientifically rich locations, 
and develops technology capable of safely transporting these materials back to Earth. The discoveries have also influenced the search for future landing sites for both robotic and human missions. Jezero Crater, where Perseverance is currently exploring, has provided strong evidence of an ancient river delta and long-standing water activity, making it a prime candidate for continued research. However, other locations now being considered for future missions include regions with similarly compelling geological features, such as areas rich in sulfates identified by Curiosity, which suggest Mars underwent a significant climate shift from a wetter to a drier world. These areas could help scientists understand not just whether life once existed on Mars, but also why the planet lost its habitability. The images showing intricate sedimentary layers and dried up lake beds are prompting mission planners to target similar sites for future landers and rovers. The search for underground water has gained new importance as well. While surface exploration has provided strong evidence of past water activity, there is increasing interest in subsurface exploration. Some of the latest images suggest that ice deposits may still be present beneath the surface, particularly in areas where past water erosion is evident. Future missions are being designed to carry ground-penetrating radar and drilling systems capable of probing beneath the Martian soil. The European Space Agency's Rosalind Franklin rover, set to launch in the coming years, will carry a drill designed to reach two meters below the surface where scientists hope to find preserved organic material that has not been exposed to radiation and harsh surface conditions. If organic molecules are found below the surface, it could be one of the strongest indications yet that Mars may have harbored life. Human exploration efforts are also being shaped by these discoveries. The images revealing dust storms, temperature fluctuations, and wind erosion patterns are helping scientists and engineers design better protective gear and habitats for astronauts. Understanding how dust moves across the surface is essential for developing long-term settlement strategies, as dust accumulation can pose significant risks to both equipment and human health. By analyzing how Martian dust interacts with the environment, mission planners can design better filtration systems and protective materials to ensure astronauts can operate safely on the surface. The recent images of towering cliffs and rugged landscapes are also influencing terrain navigation strategies as future crewed missions will need reliable mobility systems to traverse these diverse and often challenging environments. Perseverance's helicopter, Ingenuity, has demonstrated the feasibility of aerial exploration on Mars, and its success is already impacting future mission designs. The images and data collected by Ingenuity have shown that flying vehicles can provide unique perspectives on the Martian surface. Scouting ahead of rovers, and identifying areas of interest that would take weeks or months to reach by ground. This success has led to the development of future aerial exploration concepts, including larger, more advanced drones that could carry scientific instruments and explore regions that are otherwise inaccessible. The ability to quickly survey vast areas from the air could revolutionize how missions are planned, making exploration more efficient and opening up new possibilities for studying Mars's most remote and scientifically valuable locations. Another key area influenced by these discoveries is the development of resource utilization technologies. The detection of water-related minerals and possible ice deposits has strengthened the case for using in situ resources to support human missions. NASA's MOXIE experiment, which successfully produced oxygen from Mars' carbon dioxide-rich atmosphere, has proven that vital resources can be extracted locally rather than transported from Earth. This success, combined with the latest discoveries of hydrated minerals, is driving more investment into technologies that can extract water from the Martian soil. If water can be extracted and purified on Mars, it would not only provide drinking water for astronauts, but also serve as a crucial component for fuel production, making long-term habitation and return missions more feasible. Perseverance and Curiosity have also contributed valuable insights into Mars's climate history, helping scientists understand how the planet evolved over billions of years. The images showing wind-eroded rock formations, seasonal dust storms, and temperature shifts provide key data for climate models. These models are being used to predict what kind of atmospheric conditions future missions might face, and whether Mars could still experience periods of liquid water stability under certain conditions. Understanding how Mars's climate changed from warm and wet to cold and dry also has broader implications for planetary science 
as it helps researchers study climate evolution on Earth and other planets in the solar system. The search for biosignatures has gained a new level of urgency as well. The layered rock formations captured in the images bear a strong resemblance to sedimentary structures on Earth that are known to preserve fossils. These formations are guiding future mission designs to focus on areas where microbial life, if it ever existed, would most likely have been preserved. The discovery of organic molecules by perseverance and curiosity has led to a renewed push for more sophisticated instruments, capable of detecting not just organic matter, but potential biochemical traces of life. Upcoming missions are expected to carry advanced spectrometers and miniaturized laboratory equipment that can conduct more precise in situ analysis, reducing the reliance on sample return missions for definitive answers. The discoveries made by these rovers have also reinvigorated discussions about international collaboration in Mars exploration. As new evidence emerges about Mars's past habitability, space agencies around the world are looking for ways to pool resources and expertise to accelerate the search for life. Partnerships between NASA, ESA, and other space agencies are being expanded to ensure that future missions are more coordinated with complementary scientific goals and shared technologies. Private companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin are also closely following these discoveries as they plan their own Mars missions with long-term human settlement in mind. The latest images from Mars are not just shaping government-led exploration, but also influencing the private sector's approach to space travel and colonization. The discoveries made by Perseverance and Curiosity continue to reshape our understanding of Mars and the direction of future missions. Each new image and data set adds another piece to the puzzle, refining mission objectives and improving exploration strategies. The detailed observations of Mars' surface, atmosphere, and potential water sources are playing a crucial role in determining where and how we will search for life, extract resources, and eventually establish a human presence on the Red Planet. The impact of these discoveries extends far beyond the immediate scientific community, influencing technological advancements, international cooperation, and even the dreams of future astronauts who may one day set foot on the surface of Mars.